Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and in today's video, we will be creating a button system for our UI designs. Buttons are call to actions that we use in all our screens that, trick, that the user clicks on to get from stage A to stage B. This is an important UI design element in our design. What, why do we need a button system? We need a system that helps us to be consistent regardless of what action the user wants to take, the visual hierarchy of the particular action. And having a consistent button system communicate to the user that this element is clickable. So if this is something you're interested in, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So as you can see, we already created a color system in the previous video. So we're going to be working on the button system now. And with buttons we'll be working on, we're going to have a full width button. We're going to have a, a small, a medium size button, then a big size button. And we're going to have a button in different states and different level of hierarchy of the call to action. So I'll just get right into it right now. The first button I'm working on is a button that goes across the screen, right? Across the screen, so it goes from the only difference is it's just outside of the margin. So this is it, and I want this to be 48. I want my first button to be 48. So I'm going to include my text now. So before working on your button system, you should have, have a text system, right? So I'll be using Inter for this particular project. I'm using Inter. So you should have your type skill, which it is not part of this series. So we do not work on the type, type skills here. But if you want me to have a video on type skill, just let me know how to font sizes to choose, how to use them in your design and all that. Please do let me know. So yeah, I'll just go in with a test that says button text. And this is going to be 16. So, so yeah, I have a text here. So what I'm going to work on it. I want to add this to auto layout. And ensure this as 14, 12. And this is 16, this is 0. This is 24. And this is me making sure this is to the center. It's to the center and we have this. So if you don't know how to create an audio, I already have a video out on how to master autoliers in a few minutes. So yeah, I'm going to have this out. So this is the first button that I have, the first size, which is like the primary active state. Then I'm going to duplicate this and let's say what happens when this is a when this is disabled, right? So I want this to be 80, the same text. What happens if this is in an overstate, right? So mainly we were not going to definitely have an overstate because overstate doesn't work on a mobile app. There is nothing like an overstate on a mobile app, but we definitely need it on the landing page. So at currently, I'm not sure if I would need a full width on the landing page. So I'm just going to create it in the system. We might end up not using it, right? So I'll go in and select Okay, I'll just select food scene. So when you over on it, this is what happens then. Let 
think that's all the states we need for this button. So the second thing is I want to work on when this button is actually a secondary button, what happens? Definitely we get rid of this. Uh, we go for this. And the stroke has to be two. And this two has to be the essence. So I need to ensure that all this have the color system. Okay, we already done with the first part of the design. So this is a primary button, and these are the, these are like the level of hierarchy, and these are like the states. So this is primary active, this is primary disabled, this is primary over states. Then this is secondary active, this is secondary disabled, this is secondary over states. This is tertiary active, tertiary disabled, and tertiary over states. Definitely, you're not going to use all of this button system, but you just already have them in situations where, wherever you need to use them. You already know you have it in your system to use them. And this is like the first type of button we're going to be having, which is like the full width. Then the second one we are going to have is the so with the full width button, right? I'm going to select everything and So if you've watched my auto layout video, you know what the full width button is and the reason why you need to use them. And why we actually have it to auto. So the reason is because let me just make an example here. So let's say I have this a button text and another button text. So you can see how it is. So you can use it on payment that says oh, pay now and then the amount of money. So that's the reason why you want to use it as auto. So, and if you actually get rid of one of the text, it is just back to what we previously have. Yeah. So, the second one is... The second one is medium button. I'm going to go So, the difference between medium button and the full width button is because this is actually fixed width this is going to be all content and with all content the spacing is eight so this is the difference between this and this so you can see this this one with the height and the length is going to be based on the contents inside so it's going to be based on the contents inside so the which is going to be based on the content inside is the same thing, but the only difference is that it is not full, it is not across the screen. And this is what we're definitely going to use on our website the most. 
now web application and mobile this is like the mostly used one so i'm going to duplicate this and just make correction on how this should be particular button and you're going to just go ahead and create the small button so what does the small button does the small button is like the smallest part of button that we have here and it's going to be a variation with let's just say it's just like the, the small size of you want to have a button on a particular card or you want it to be small right this is not like this this is not like just UI designs and element this is just like a real button call to action it's mostly used on fintech and but the this particular one is made the main reason i'm actually making this here is because you want your system to be dynamic you just have it there might actually be a need for it and you just save the time of coming back here to make changes to that so what's the difference between this and that one and the small button the small button is small like just the word small the font here is 16 for the small button is going to be 14 it's going to be 14 and yeah i'm going to make sure this is 16 and this is 8 so like the word the small button is very small. It is 40. The height is 40. So it is small. Just small, to be honest. It's the small button. So you use it for when a call to action is that it is not like the primary. When you want to bring like the action, so it's so, so important, but it's not like the primary purpose. Or it is in a particular card. And you still want, let's just say like an example is Okay, and another example where you can use this small button is this advertisement card that says oh 55 percent off order now right you can't use this button you can't use this button you can only use this size of button right so these are like situations where scenarios whereby there is a demand for you have this so you should always have this in your design icon to a particular element and let me just get an icon and make an example of that So an example is this, and you could actually, the moment you have it with icon, it's going to be in different state as well, they are simply disabled and they over, right? And you can just have it like with text, with, we already have with text, which is like default with icons too, is a variation you should explore if it is something you will be need, you definitely need in your design. To be honest, you definitely need it, especially for, this tertiary small buttons right the reason why you need it is because for like a see all buttons 
does like show direction like oh you, you have to see to see click here to see all the products or in my case because i'm working on an e-commerce platform that says oh see all in my it is definitely a must have for me so it's just like a button there that says Or maybe view all, so you can see scenarios where you can use the product expand, create new buttons. So just go with it, create new buttons. You do not have to stick to these ones that you already have. If there is a demand for you to have a particular styles of buttons, like the one with the icon, go ahead and create a new button system, an additional button system to this, using the guideline of what you already have here, so that it is consistent to get like the button that you need these are not all of the buttons that we need right but these are like a starting point for you to put it i hope you enjoyed this video i learned something in this video so please subscribe to my youtube channel and welcome to the family